Hello and welcome back to another glorious day in the woods. The skies are blue and just look at that tree canopy. It's absolutely stunning. I don't think I'll ever tire of calling this place home. Speaking of which, if you're new to my channel, this is my 1900s house, which I have been renovating for the last few months now. And uh, to try and get a little bit of a break from constantly doing DIY and everything that goes into renovating a home, uh, I like to take a little bit of a break and do something different. And that is where today's sponsor, Makera, comes into play. They sent me out the Kavera Air, a desktop CNC machine. And about a month ago now, uh, I worked on trying out some of their example models. And as you can see here, they turned out amazing. But after that video, it left me thinking, what else could I make with this CNC machine? And I had an absolutely cracking idea as I would like to work with metals a little bit more. I, I mostly do things in woodwork. Uh, and whilst the machine does obviously cut wood, uh, what I want to do is create this. It's like a medallion that's got my logo on it. And obviously I'm a jack of all trades and I wanted to leave my mark on stuff that I create, whether that's in the house or just little products I do when it comes to woodworking. So I spent quite a lot of time in Photoshop coming up with this design. And then I transferred that over to Illustrator to get all the paths for it, which I can then transfer into their cam software that comes with the Kavera Air which will allow me to cut it out of this sheet of aluminium. Or aluminum, if you're American. I'm going to be trying two different techniques. One of them is going to engrave around a design, which will give it like an embossed look, very similar to how you'd see an average coin. And the other one is going to be engrave the actual design, so it kind of gives it a little bit of an insert. I'm interested to see which one actually turns out looking better, and we'll find out towards the end of the video. But let me know in the comments down below which one you would prefer. And I'm going to be picking one of you to send it out as a bit of a thank you for everything you've done to support me on this journey of creating random things or renovating houses and just following on my family. I'm genuinely so appreciative of it. So let me know in the comments down below towards the end of the video which one is your favourite and I'll be getting in touch to send it out. All right, before we jump onto the machine and actually start cutting out the aluminium, I'm first going to show you how easy it is to use the cam software. So if we jump into Makera Cam, their cam software, we can actually import a 2D model uh, as obviously the design I've created is just a flat image that we're going to be engraving on some aluminium. Uh, which, by the way, first we should make sure our, uh, our stock is actually set up correctly, which it is. I'm running 150 mil by 200 mil uh, and its depth is 5 mil. Uh, so we'll click OK on that and then we can import our 2D model, which I have exported out of Illustrator as an SVG. So as you can see, I have got my uh, my paths all inside Makera Cam. And what I can do is highlight these paths uh, by clicking and dragging, right clicking that. And then we can go down to Tool Path. 2D path and create a pocket uh, as obviously I want to create a pocket cutout of everything around my lettering and design. Then we need to set up how we want our pocket to be cut out. So I'm going to go for a depth of one millimeter because I think that is deep enough. Uh, and then I'm going to go down to the tools list, add a tool. Uh, and to begin with, I wanted to cut out as much of the bulk metal as possible. So we're going to be using a single flute metal, the 2.5 by 12 mil. And the preset there comes with all the settings I already need. So I don't need to play around with anything. Click choose. Uh, and that straight away, if I hit calculate now, you'll see it's actually cutting out a large bulk of the material. However, if I actually hide our design there, you can see that we're not really getting a great deal of detail out of that. And that's because this path is purely just to carve out a large bulk of material. So if we close this out, highlight our uh, design again, right click tool path, and add another pocket path. For this particular pocket path, we're actually gonna be changing the tool uh, to an engraving single flute, and I'm gonna go with 0.2 mil uh, as it is a finer blade. I would like to go to 0.1, but I don't actually have that that, uh, that tool with me. Uh, I need to order one, ideally. But for this, same end depth, so we're still going for a one millimeter depth. We don't need to change any of the, uh, the settings as it's already built into the preset for us. If I was purely carving out a large bulk of material, then I'd probably change the parallel pathing. Uh, but again, I'm, I kind of want to get as much detail as possible. We've got ramping, which actually tells you when the uh, the tool bit will go down and it, so it ramps down slightly rather than being straight down. It's a bit kinder on the tools when you're, when you're working with like metal. And if we calculate now, you can see straight away if I hide the design, how much more detail we're actually getting from using that particular tool. So 
we close this out, we now have our paths. And if I right click my pocket path and preview the tool path, highlight them both and preview, you'll now see it starts to cut it out and you can see it's cutting out a bulk of the material and then we'll have to change tools over uh, to get the finer details. And by the end of it, we should end up with a really nice design. But there is one thing left to do, which is to cut out our actual medallion itself. Because right now, all we've done is engrave into a square sheet of, uh, of aluminium. So if we right click and click on tool path, this time we're gonna use a contour path. And the end depth of this, as the sheet material is five mil, we wanna go beyond that because we wanted to cut it out. So we're gonna change it to, I don't know, 5.5 should be perfectly fine. Uh, then we'll go down and choose our tool. This time, we're gonna be using a 3.175 by 12 mil, obviously aluminium again. It's a bigger bit, because obviously we're just carving out the medallion itself. We'll choose that tool, and obviously we wanna cut on the outside of our outer ring. Uh, and I'm gonna give it like a one mil offset, so it's got a little bit of thickness to it, rather than it being right on the edge of my my actual design. We'll add the ramping in as well and we'll hit calculate. And now you can see that we've got a ring around here which should cut out our medallion. So now if we close this out and right click to preview tool paths and include our contour, we play through this and speed up. You can see now after it's finished doing the intricate design of uh, cutting around what my artwork is there, it'll actually start to carve out around the exterior of my medallion. Uh, and allow me to basically pick it up and take it out. So if we now change the perspective on it, you can see we've got it engraved out, we've got our text and everything all embossed, our designs embossed, and the, uh, the medallion is completely cut out for us to lift and just remove from the sheet. All that's left now is to export that out so we can import it on our Cavera controller and send that over to the machine. Before we hit go, I actually obviously need to put my aluminum plate on there and I'm using a bit of wasteboard here so I'm not actually damaging the uh, the machine itself. And I am going to ensure it doesn't move by using these little clamps that come with it. Aluminum fixed down, my tools in order. We've got one, two and three. Let's hit go and keep our fingers crossed that this works out perfectly. Five hours later, it is finished. I am actually quite shocked at how long that took to uh, to complete, but let's take it out and have a look. All in all, I am actually very impressed with how that looks. It is so shiny, and you can most definitely see uh, some of the markings where the uh, the drill bits have like obviously cut it out. Uh, so it needs perfecting, that's for sure. But all the same, a very, very cool medallion. Depending on where you actually hold it to the light, it looks different all the time, which is kind of cool. I was doing some research in how to like basically color this. And you do a thing called, I think it's called anodizing, uh, where you basically dip it in uh, in like an acid, essentially. Uh, and you can cover it to, uh, to protect it for longer. That is... Genuinely, considering this is like the first thing I've ever like done with like metal, uh, I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, let's try this again, uh, but the opposite effect. So it's essentially inverting what we just did. Instead of engraving around the letters, we're going to now uh, engrave the letters themselves. I can't lie, that is also incredibly satisfying to look at itself. But to achieve this next design, we're gonna do something ever so slightly different with the CAM software. So if we jump back into Makara CAM, rather than importing like a vector image where I've got all the paths from Illustrator, not everyone has access to something like Illustrator. So we can actually import an image and then using the software itself, we can select that image, right click, click trace and then trace image, hit okay. And there you go. Just from an image that I produced straight out of like Photoshop for this particular example, uh, we can now just trace the image straight in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the border because obviously it came with a black background, uh, delete that, highlight my actual 
design, right click it, we're gonna transform, scale. We're gonna reduce this down to 80 mil because that's what the other one was set up to. And now we can repeat the same process we made before to make sure that this design has the correct pathing. Now highlight again, toolpath, pocket, make sure we sign off with our 2.5 by 12 mil flat end uh, tool. Ensure that the depth is set to one millimeter. Working again from the inside out and we're adding our ramping. Same as before, you can see that we've not quite got the detail that we're looking for. So if we highlight our image again and create another 2D pocket path, we can actually change the tool to the 0.2 millimeter engraving tool, calculate that, and straight away, you can see that we're getting much better detail than we was before. Now, as I said in the first section, I, I do really want the 0.1 millimeter tool uh, just to get that extra detail. It would include like the, the shapes out of the A that I did on the first, like the first pass. Uh, however, I don't have that tool, so we're making do with what we've got. The final thing to do is to uh, cut out the actual shape itself. So again, 2D path, contour, set our depth to 5.5 because that is obviously the depth of our material. Change the tool to a 3.175. This time we don't need to change the offset because the stroke is included in the engravement. So we'll keep it at zero mil. Calculate that and there we have it. We have our paths all set up. We'll export that out and send that over to the machine. To save our material, I have just flipped and rotated around the aluminium plate and I'm really hoping this one doesn't take five hours as my battery died uh, on the time lapse and i had to kind of hook it up to a charger fortunately i do actually have usb-c socket right behind it uh, so i'm going to set the tripod back up we're going to time lapse this one and see how this one turns out yep that also took five hours but i have to say it looks a lot better than the other one. It's so much more of a cleaner cut. I mean, look at that. How dope is that? Don't get me wrong. If I actually make these more permanently, like make a lot of them to be putting in woodwork, I need to make them a little bit smaller and I'll need a smaller tool bit to do that. But overall, I am actually well impressed with that. Now, you can probably hear the CNC machine in the background because I'm doing like an extra little bonus one for uh, my stepdad, Mark. And that one looks really good. But right, now is your opportunity. Let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer. We'll go with the left one being number one and the right one being number two. Oh man, uh, to be fair, if I got more detail out of this, like got a smaller bit, I actually think that that one would look so much better. And maybe the only reason I like this one is because you can actually read it all properly and I've like, you know, the A's been cut out and stuff properly. Oh, I am well impressed. Considering that I have never actually really worked with metal before um, and the CNC machine is still fairly new to me, I need to obviously do a little bit more research, get ever so slightly better at it because, yeah, it, I'm a complete novice when it comes to this stuff. But I think this truly shows how easy it is just to pop out the machine do a bit of design work on my pc and just send it across like if you think about it this was just an image i just dropped an image in the cam software traced it all out for me i i told it which tool paths to use and it just cut that out makara thank you again so much for sending this machine out i'm gonna make so many really cool things of it let me know which one you want and uh, I'll be picking one of you in the near future. Oh, wait, I was just admiring these again and, and I've just noticed the EST is missing off the bottom one. Uh, I don't know how that's happened. Maybe I, I didn't include it on the design when I import the image. Yeah, probably just a mistake on my part, to be honest, but I've only just noticed that it's missing the EST off it. Never mind. <laughs> Let me learn. I definitely think I'm getting much better. That looks really cool. But it's still not as cool as this. I'm Just because I came up with this design and I spent ages like working in Illustrator to get it right, I'm the fact that I've been able to cut that out uh, out of a piece of aluminium plate that I just, that, you know, I got and then put it through the machine. It, it just boggles my brain how good technology is these days. That is a CNC machine that fits on your desk. 
mind-boggling. Again, a big shout out to Makera. If you want to get yours, then links will be on the screen as always. You can check the description as well as a pinned comment. And uh, yeah, just thank you very much for sponsoring this video. It's uh, helping us with the house. It might not seem like it, uh, you know, doing these little things, but the sheer amount of possibilities that that machine is capable of achieving is just through the roof like i've barely even touched the surface on what that machine can do um but this is something for you guys uh hopefully if we can turn them into like key key rings and keychains, i think that'd be a really cool thing like custom made home crafted handcrafted home crafted i i made it uh key chains that you guys can get and i can give back a little bit because things that i make like that yes it obviously costs me money and materials and so on and, and time but uh, I would love to like give back, especially like the people that did like the GoFundMe, which we do have an idea for, like stepping stones, everyone's names on it and things like that, which would be really cool in the future. Uh, but just like a little thing, I don't know. Do you want a key ring that's been made by me, or do you want some like clothing that's been embroidered by Jess? Uh, you know, the, the possibilities that we have are endless, and I'm so looking forward to getting this turned into a workshop and the garage actually turned into what I'm probably going to dub as a studio. Uh, I think the like the CNC machine and uh, the other equipment I have would be better suited to like a studio environment where it can be on a desk rather than being in my woodworking like lean to workshop situation. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, I'll probably follow this video up with like a short form video or something like that uh, and I'll pick a couple of guys uh, to uh, to send some stuff out to uh, and I'll, maybe I'll include like a, a free t-shirt or something like that but yeah again make sure you check the links in the description on screen pin comment all that kind of stuff thank you again to Makara for sponsoring this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace much love bye bye